Hello folks, how's it going today? Um, this is one of us, the special cars that we were hoping that was going to make it in for the auction and it is. So we're a bit lastminute.com as usual. Um, I wanted it to be as beautiful as you can see it is now. It just deserves it. Um, a Storm, no less, Mystic Blue, black leather. One of 500, 250 were green and cream leather and 250 were Mystic Blue and black leather. And this has had a repaint, as I said, in about the last five or six years. Um, the Solitude wheels, the 15s with the correct Continental tyres all around, 195 something something 15, 51, 205, 50, 15, excuse me. Conti's all around, the, they're BBS Solitudes, they've been fully refurbished. Um, the centre caps are genuine BBS centre caps, uh, brand new and what else it's had the heater matrix done by the current owner which is a big bill 700 odd pounds um as you know a lot of people just bypass them and we need our heaters especially this winter um what else abs no faults sunroof works tilts slides the speed speed electric spoiler the whole point of it works ah. I'm lost for words. This was my car that I wanted as a kid. And you know, you lost it after stuff. This was it. This was the thing that was the ultimate. So I'm so pleased that we've got it in for the first auction. 121,120 miles, if you can see there. And look at the condition of the black leather. A bit of creasing, but it's had repairs and it's in beautiful condition. The headlining could do with a clean at the front, but it looks to be the original and it's in place and the steering wheel was swapped for um there's a bit of wear on the original one and it was swapped for an identical one that's fairly mint and as we go around the car as excited as i am you can see that it's very very good in every department i've had a small drive around the compound don't dare take it outside because it's i'll never sell it to you then i'll have to I'll have to come to the deal with the seller and, and, and um give away the kids inheritance for the rest of their days but it's my goodness i'll stop with all of the the drooling and getting on a solid car very much so as i said <clears throat> excuse me the current owner has other interests and this wasn't getting the attention that he wanted to give it and you know he spent a lot of money on it himself and it had a lot of money on it when he before he bought it and he just wanted to make sure he was getting one of the better ones that he could and he did now where do we start so I've been going around it, and other than my terrible polishing and trying to update a bit of the, the, the trim, you can see there, it could do with a little back to black, as they all can. The handles all work as well, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I'm not seeing any rust, not even superficially. As I said, it was painted, so you would imagine that there was any issues at that point that would have been sorted out. I did see, obviously there's a little chip there, there's a couple of wee minor parking dents as you would expect from a car that was used. Just here, because this is going to be a car that people go nuts over. Just on the roof, the paint has reacted ever so slightly there. And this probably happened shortly after it was painted. And I know that because I went through something similar in my own car, but you're talking about that space there. And it's ten heads, as you can see. So a, a smart repair or a decent repair can sort that out. As I said, you look at all of the the dodgy spots for them. It's all good. A little bit there in the paint, you can see. Just a little bit of tiny bad prep. That's dirt. The car was driven here. Uh, could have cried for the owner because at the end of the day, the weather yesterday was absolutely horrendous and I didn't even want to take it out. But there you go, you can see it. So shut up, Noel. Go around and show the people the car. That was four and a half minutes of me yakking. Right, front end. Lights all good. Grill all good. VR6 badge. A lot of the badges were renewed as well for new old stock. Spot lamps. All good. Again, another troublesome but an expensive to put right. Lower splitter. All good. Passenger front bumper. Paintwork all looks good, even. A little bit of orange peely in places, but you know, again, a, a detailer or a, somebody who's a semi-professional detailer or somebody that does it themselves could flat that back very easily. 
machine polish that over a period of days because really it takes days to get the finish that you're looking at when you see the glass finishes but the important bits there's no rust as I said the tires are bloody great grip on them great tread must be at least four or five mil all around if not more this cute the car could be doing with being used quite simply there's underneath on that side We'll go along this side the door as I said that little bit there bit of a chip a couple of marks in the paint but as I said a flat and polish should sort that underneath again. we'll get our left in one of these days folks maybe for the next auction this car is good I just want to show you how good so there's the back the back wheel, another county, and the brake discs as well, and pads. Bumper, tailpipe could do with a clean up, sorry. Another new badge in the back. They're the original badges, would say, for the Corrado and the Storm, and the VR6 there. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely thing. Original VW City Gate number plates too, which are nice. Nice little detail to have, I know a lot of people do go for that. Another solitude wheel, I don't know what that is all on my feet. A little bit mucky, but no rust. Let's see. No, that's under seal. Come and see. And under there. Go further. I just think that's where they finished it. Feels solid anyway. There's a little parking dent just underneath the driver's door. This is so minor. And again, that door is a little bit orange peely, but I, I didn't polish that side, I'm going to be honest. I polished the bits that looked slightly dodgy, which were on the passenger side. And there's the fourth wheel for the Mr. Man out of breath. And his knees giving out. And so from this side, and underneath. And again, the Conti tire. So good. All right, bonus. On the windscreen, and the roof. Again, I'm not heavy up on the plastic stuff, but having owned a lot of these VWs myself over the time, over my years, the roof. Um, apparently there's stuff, like it's called G-Technique or something like that, I'm probably not pronouncing it right. And it's a, a like a water-based whatever solution. And it'll basically leave that plastic all looking near enough as good as new. And again, if you have a, you have a high-end detailer, which there's lots of them about, know what they're doing, or if you're semi-pro or you like it yourself just to do it, it would really benefit. One thing, a little bit of crack in here. So, and the same on that side, these do go. So uh, I don't know whether it's shrinkage or what it is, but they do go, but that's just something to point out. Open this door, you can get a bit of dirt from my foot that I have to wipe off and uh, air freshener as I said the car dirty sorry it's just how it came in and we didn't get the chance to go through it front to back but I mean look at the leather it's it's got character it's not got wear it's not the seats are reclined but they probably won't go up now because I have them like that it's for photographs you silly me check out the storm badge earlier really here gear shift that looks fairly new I wanted to show you that because again those cables go and it's, it would be the wrong thing to do to not show it um, genuine set of Corrado mats full rubber set front and back it's it's somebody's dream car it, it really is and you, if you're even looking at this video and listening to me droning on you're very well aware of what this is. You're very well aware of how good this is. It's got four previous owners, five total. Most are on nine, 10 plus. Okay, there'll be storms that went for 30 grand with small mileage. I understand that, this won't be one of them. 
this has got what I would call a sensible usable mileage. You will continue to enjoy it. I'll put this seat up as well so you can see its cables working. You'll continue to enjoy it. And it could be a real wee mentor. It could even be a show winner one day. But the thing about it is you are going to drive it. It's not going to put into your garage and just ignore it. It's got the mileage on it that you don't mind adding a thousand a year going to shows. Class. Absolutely class. I can't wait till my cousin sees this and about half a dozen other people that I just know locally will absolutely be going nuts about it, as nuts as I am. And a couple of people a wee bit further away sees this and be going nuts about it. It's just lovely and I've, I'm not taking it out again, but it's a Space Saver Spur wheel. Uh, it's a Continental one as well, looks fairly new, the tools and underneath, as I said, dirty but solid. And there's pictures of it all. That's the original trim, that's the original sticker from the factory. What's the inspection? I didn't get that, I should get that surely. There we go. That's all good. No broken shelves. Fixed in place, fixed in place. It's got its hangers. No extra speakers. We're doing good, aren't we? We're doing good. All right. We need to go underneath the bonnet, don't we? We do. I haven't been under the business end yet. 188 horsepower, um, a standard, through the front wheels, 5 speed gearbox, ER6, totally revolutionary at its time for VW, and it's just a shame that they've done away with these, but that's what's made their value so important today, I'm holding this up because I want to put it down in a minute, but there is the VIN, more stickers. So opening. Yes, opening and opening. Key in. Start. There we go. Electric window. Goes up. One touch down. Same in the drivers. Oh. Or not. One touch up. Sorry, one touch down and then you move it up. The mirrors. Are probably moving but not moving very much. So we'll have heat. Um, it's working. The only light we have is the handbrake. The ABS light's not on. The heated seats. Goodness, it'll go all the way up to five. That's actually getting warm now already as soon as I turned that on. Lights. Hard to see really with that at the minute. And I'm gonna to need to turn the tuner on to see what the crack is because there was an issue with the sound. So likely to stand. Um, I think there it's going to be a blood bath. There we go. Radio 2. Absolutely fine. And I believe there's a CD. The CD uh, Fisher unit. It's got 150 quid's worth. And as I said, proper Corrado rubber mats. This is just a lovely thing. Rock with the leather uh, uh, handbrake handle. Even. Just lovely. Let's close the door. So you see one set of key and an engine run. You see my keys and another set of keys for this. cold it's cold outside the sun's coming out that's typical isn't it i get these pictures taken in the dull and there's the sun coming out so price wise i think i need a little bit of an upfront car price wise we're guiding it as 12 to 14. we don't know it could do a bit more it should do a bit more there's already been a couple of people showing interest that the car only came in to us yesterday and already word has gone out so people have heard about it because of a bit of social media movement and we've posted it up on a couple of the Corrado forums as well on Facebook because you know we value their opinion too. Um, what a car, seriously. It's my Countach, it's my Ferrari Testarossa and so many of us 40-somethings or late 30-somethings will feel exactly the same way. Not only was it a VR6, it was a Storm VR6 that we've got in front of us and probably the best colour out of the two of them and they're certainly the best colour combination. And I don't even like black leather, but it's the best combo. So, 
This will go in on the 14th, or sorry, the 29th. 12 to 14 is the guide. It will be on Bid Spotter under Classics if you go to the webcast area. You have to register to bid, you have to pay a deposit. Whether you're coming here to us on the day, you'll have to still give over a fax deposit of 500, 500 cash, or we should be able to do a card a 500 pound deposit for bidding. But if you bid online with BidSpotter, which there's no fees, um, we're not passing on any fees to our customers. Um, so no seller fees, or sorry, no buyer fees for buying online. Um, you can bid on there, having, but I prefer you to see the car first. But you can bid on there, uh, register on there, give your credit card details on there. You don't need them to give them to us and work away. Come here in the day. It's no skin off our nose one way or the other. So let's drive this back around and enjoy what it is. Oh my goodness, is what it is. The strange thing is, I'm sort of satisfied now owning this um, for, what, like five seconds while I drive it around, it's my responsibility. That nearly satisfies me that I've had my little moment in time with a VR6 storm. Strange that, because truthfully, if I had it, I wouldn't get the chance to enjoy it. It would be parked up and it would be polished like most people do with their classics. But this definitely is one of those engines, one of those chassis, just one of those cars that deserves to be enjoyed. And it's a really good example without you being scared to use it at like 30k plus. 12 to 14 and come on, you can shock us folks. It can go higher, it just won't go cheaper. There we go, parked up. Cheers guys, all the very best.